Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, well, I'm so excited to do a little performance portion of, uh, uh, of today. This is exciting. Um, I wrote a song a really long time ago and it's called Six Foot Two. And um, it's about not being too picky with who God wants you to marry. I hope you like it. Oh, Lord, I've been praying for somebody I have never seen. But I don't care what he looks like as long as he loves me. No, I'm not particular, but could he have blue? Just like the sky and blonde hair, baby, and light. And six foot two is my favorite height. And Lord, I don't care what he looks like. And I've been getting so lonesome, waiting for him to come around. But if you're teaching me patience, I'm willing to wait this one out. Well, I'll be patient. But could we meet by the 1st of July so we'll hold my hand as I light up the sky and marry me on an April night. If the Lord takes your sweet, sweet time. So if he has green eyes, that would be fine. Or brown hair, well, that's quite all right. But six foot two is still my favorite height. And Lord, I don't care. And could we meet by the 1st of July? So we'll hold my hand as they light up the sky and marry me. Thank you so much. So like I said, I wrote that song, Six Foot Two, totally as a joke a long time ago. What's been really cool is that um, it was on pop radio and on Dancing with the Stars randomly, uh, which was really cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, I've gotten in a lot of trouble for writing a song about tall guys. But just so you know, I love all heights. Um, my husband is not six foot two. So, um, but uh, yeah, that song, uh, uh, has been a, a lot of fun to sing over the years, and um, that's an old song. I want to play you a new one um, that I wrote inspired by St. Therese. I, I have always been playing folk and country music, and uh, this record that's going to be released this spring will be my first Catholic project in a really, really long time. Songs about the Eucharist, um, uh, songs inspired by the saints. This is called The Way of Love, and this is the title track. The roads this we have seen Miles and miles of wandering Searching for glory Praise for the sound of my name Hoping that would stop the ache The places I have been To know to find out who I am, searching for more affirmation to placate my shame, thinking that would stop the ache. You pointed me down a different road, the one I was always 
was made to know how sweet chose this road like a child and I'm never turning back home at last never looking back you're the only way for me how sweet is the way Thank you very much. So I got to sing for Pope Francis when he was here in the United States. I got a call from this festival and they said, hey, Pope Francis is gonna be at the Festival of Families in Philadelphia. Um, my wife really likes your song, Six Foot Two. Can you sing it for him? I was like, that's really weird for me to sing a song about tall boys to Pope Francis. So I asked them, can I sing another song? It's a song called You're Not Alone. I'm really proud of it. It's about being a good friend and um, about being a good friend when someone's going through a really hard time. And uh, they were kind of a disorganized group and they like let it slip. Like they let it slide. They're like, yeah, sure, you can do two songs. And so uh, we're about to perform and we do You're Not Alone in Six Foot Two. It's super fun. And then other performers were like Aretha Franklin, Andre Bricelli, Jim Gaffigan was doing comedy. Uh, and so we did our two songs, and the other artists were so supposed to do two songs. And Pope Francis' doctor came out after our set, and there was, like, whispering. And then the producers of this live uh, show that was on, like, CNN and Fox News, they said, uh, Pope Francis is tired, so uh, no other artist can do so two songs. Aretha Franklin, Andre Bocelli, you can only do one song. So the only person that got to sing that night was little Marie Miller for Pope Francis, two songs, and this was it, it was called You're Not Alone. I will tell you right now, you're not, 
You're not alone, you're not alone, you're not alone. You're not alone, you're not alone, you're not alone. And I'm gonna roll up, I'm gonna roll up my sleeves. And I'm gonna fight for you, I'm gonna fight till I bleed. So listen to me. My friends down and out, and I'm not gonna run when it's hard to figure it all out. If there's anything I'd say, I will tell you right now. You're not, you're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. Thank you very much. I'm going to do a couple more songs for you. Um, I want to play you a song um, that I did not write, that I love to sing. I've sang it all over the world, um, including Uganda, Africa. Um, I don't know if you can see, but I'm wearing this really cool bracelet. And if you maybe you've bought one, I've seen a lot of people buy them at my table, which is so cool. Um, this uh, bracelet is made by the mamas um, in Uganda of children with special needs. And my little sister Megan has Down syndrome, and so I've always had a heart for children with special needs. And I met Claire Byrne, the founder of Imprint Hope in Uganda, over a FaceTime call on Thanksgiving a few years back. And she invited me to come to Uganda and to play for the kids and to travel around and play some shows for, um, for families. I said, sure. Um, and ever since then, um, I've been telling her story and the story of Imprint Hope, which takes children in Uganda um, that have special needs. What's really sad um, is that the culture there is that if you have special needs that you're cursed, that your family is cursed. And so I've held in my arms um, little kiddos that were left um, in dumpsters um, because their family doesn't know what to do. You know, so Imprint Hope comes, gives them the, um, the heart and the education um, for the, the little ones. So um, this is a song that I sang uh, in in Uganda, and, and here's just kind of something a little, a little cute for you guys, is that I was in this remote village in Uganda, and I asked them, I said, do you know who Taylor Swift is? And the lady was like, no. <laughs> so somewhere in the world, I'm more famous than Taylor Swift. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that's still true, but it was in 2019. This is a song about making the world, or dreaming of a world that's a beautiful place somewhere over the rainbow. Somewhere over the rainbow way up high there's a Wake up 
where the clouds are far behind me. Where troubles smell like lemon drops away above the chimney tops, that's where you Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, I would love it if you guys, uh, we could stay in touch, because Columbus is really cool. I've been here uh, several times. My husband had a layover here. He's a pilot. We kind of have similar jobs, actually, so he makes money. Um, but we both travel for work. And um, don't worry, they paid me. But you know, you get it, pilot versus musician. Um, and. Uh, uh, he had a layover, so I got to visit Columbus in December, and we just hung out downtown, and it was so fun. So it's great to be back. I'd love to stay in touch with you guys. If you feel inclined, you liked the music, or you just feel really bad for me, you can follow me on, uh, you can, yeah, you can do this cute QR code on your phone, and you can sign up for my email list. I'll give you like a couple seconds for that. But most importantly, Instagram. Um, please follow me on Instagram. It's Marie Miller Singh. Um, I don't have a lot of friends, so it'd be really cool if you followed me. Make me feel special. All right. Uh, but in, in a serious note, I'd love to meet you. I'll be hanging out um, at my booth, which is over on the other side, right there, kind of by all the uh, speakers and stuff. So please say hi. And um, uh, if you do buy a bracelet, 50% um, of that goes right back to the mission of Imprint Hope. So, uh, And then it, I've also got t-shirts and all that kind of fun stuff, too. So I'd love to say hi. Um, I'm going to end with our song that you guys were singing so beautiful in adoration. Um, this is, again, a song called Woman. I think it's just so perfect for a woman's conference. Um, and I wrote it um, with Sarah Hart and Sarah Kroger. Uh, we all play different characters in, in scripture. And this is on, like, Spotify and Apple Music and everything if you want to check it out. But um, I chose The Woman at the Well. Um, and uh, I'm going to play you my verse, um, and then we'll sing the, the chorus together. Went to the well in the middle of the day To hide my shame and steal away Saw him there at the water's edge My heart so thirsty and so dry He spoke my name and sang my life He said, a woman, oh don't you know you're loved? Don't you know you're loved? Woman, oh woman, you're the heart of God. Oh is who you are fearless is the voice you own dignity your song clothed in strength and radiance this is who you are this is who you Thank you guys so much. God bless you. See you around.